Oh, what up, my brothers and sisters, all the gaming and YouTube. My name is BWJ, and I'm doing another reaction video. I know I the last one I, I did was uh, a death battle, and this next one is also for a death battle. Wolverine versus Raiden. Now, I love Raiden to bits. He's a fucking badass. There's no fucking... Deny it. I know people hate Raiden because he was... Uh, in too much in Metal Gear Solid 2, which I can't blame people hating on Raiden for being too much in Metal Gear Solid 2 because hey, it's goddamn Snake or Big Boss's game, goddamn it. And Raiden is uh, got all already his game Metal Gear Rising, which one of my favorite ga games of all time. So uh, Wolverine, I don't really don't like. I like Wolverine, but not. As much as other Marvel characters like Deadpool, Spider Man, or Iron Man. So, let's see what the screw attack has in store for us. Weaponry are effective tools of destruction, but there's just something special about killing up close and personal with a blade. Like Wolverine, the vicious anti-hero of the X-Men. And Raiden, the deadly cyborg ninja from Metal Gear. He's Sister with badass. and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Three scratches, three claws, this is the mark of the Wolverine. But before he was the poster boy of the X-Men, he was born James Howlett in 1886. And he was the wimpiest wow. kid ever. He was tiny and pathetic and sick all the time, but little James wasn't stuck in bed for too long. As he grew up, James started to develop mutant powers, which gave him animal senses and rapid healing. But when the family groundskeeper Thomas Logan murdered his father, James learned he had a more lethal power hidden within. Retractable bone claws? Old Thomas never knew what hit him, or more specifically, what stabbed him to death. But Thomas used his dying breath for the oh-so-original plot twist, I'm your father. Going from two dads to zero in a matter of seconds. Anyway, James Thanks. took on the name Logan to poorly hide his identity and ran away from home with his childhood friend Rose. But then he accidentally stabbed her to death too. Damn, those things seem really inconvenient. Like a murder erection. Always popping up when you least expect it. You should probably see a doctor. With his healing ability slowing his aging, Logan has lived over 100 years. He fought in both World Wars and Vietnam before joining a special weapons project called Weapon X. This is where he took the name, The Wolverine. But like almost every other secret project ever, it was actually yet another horrifying super soldier project. Whilst there, Wolverine enjoyed such treatments as being cut open repeatedly, having his DNA harvested, and getting his skeleton a pimped out chrome job. Against Logan's will, a scientist named Dr. Cornelius infused his bones with adamantium, <coughs> a rare man-made metal alloy. Adamantium is extremely dense and stable on a molecular level, making it reportedly indestructible. Even Thor has a hard time breaking it. And Dr. Scientist also hypnotized Wolverine to erase his memories and turn him into an animalistic killing machine. The result? Well, Wolverine went crazy and slaughtered everyone at Weapon X. So I guess you could say the experiment turned out to be a complete success. Good job, everybody. After wandering the wilderness and tangling with the Hulk, Wolverine was eventually discovered by the X-Men, who molded him into a real hero. Logan had finally found a place to call home, and a family he did not stab to death. Old Wolvie's got more mutant powers than Kim Kardashian has butt injections. He has keen animal-like senses and expert tracking skills, can move faster than the eye can see, and can lift up to two tons. 
His adamantium claws can cut through almost anything and conveniently never has to sharpen them. He's immune to disease, can resist mind control, and can fight for days without tiring. Oh, and for some reason he can sense animals' feelings and talk to them. Like some sort of bear whisperer. He's equal in hand-to-hand -hand combat with Captain America, and was skilled enough to tag Speed Demon, who runs faster than the speed of sound. Despite all of this, his greatest attribute is his sheer durability. He's like Super Rocky. Wolverine has survived hits from Thor and the Hulkbuster, battled with Satan himself, and was once blown up with nothing left but his adamantium skeleton. Think that stopped him? Hell no! He got back up and beat the ever-living shit out of the emo bomber man who blew him up in the first place. Jesus Christ, can anything stop this guy? Well, technically he has died a few times. He even used to have a deal with the Angel of Death to be resurrected should his healing factor ever be overtaxed. But eventually he gave it up in exchange for his soul. Yeah, this actually happened. However, according to Professor Xavier, leader of the X-Men, Wolverine's healing factor stems from his brain. Ah, huh? Get it? Stem? Like, brainstem? Whiz, I'm the funny one. Just stick to being boring. Aww. Uh, anyway, this means Wolverine can be killed by drowning or destroying his brain. But seeing as his brain's protected by a thick adamantium skull, it's probably staying where it is. Still, there's a reason why Logan keeps getting into bad situations like these. He's a lone wolf and doesn't like relying on others. And he's got a bit of a temper. <laughs> Tell Cyclops I made him a convertible. Piss him off too much! Something snaps and Wolverine will enter the Berserker Rage. In this state, Wolverine loses all self-control and ignores all pain, as he is consumed by the animalistic killer instinct that's still deep within him by Dr. Cornelius all those years ago. My stars. Born in Liberia, Jesus. a young boy named Jack lost his parents and was adopted by George Sears, the future president of the United States. Which Solid sounds snake. like a pretty good upside considering, except Sears was actually Solid as Snake, a traitor who manipulated world leaders to profit from the war economy. Oh, and the fact that he killed Jack's parents. I'm your dad now. Being the perfect parent he is, Solidus enlisted Jack in the Liberian Civil War, where he became captain of his own commando unit in the Army of the Devil. It's an army it's of- It's not an actual army of devils. Ah, oh, damn it. A natural harbinger of death, Jack's high kill count earned him the nickname Jack the Ripper. He accomplished all of this, and he was only 10 years old. Oh my god, could you imagine this kid during puberty? If it ever even hits. I mean, even 10 years later, he still looks like he's waiting for the old stones to drop. Well, they had to sometime. After being abandoned by Solidus, Jack fell for a girl named Rose and eventually got her pregnant. Jack was tormented by his past life and sought to right his wrongs by joining a special task force. With them, he teamed up with the legendary Solid Snake to take down some bad guys, destroy giant robots, go streaking, and even kill dear old foster dad. All under his awesome new code name, Raiden. Such Except a cool name. all along, he was actually being controlled by the Patriots, a secret organization manipulating the U.S. from behind the scenes and bent on dominating the world. Yeah, okay, hang on to your butts, because this is where things start getting out of hand. See, his girlfriend Rose was actually a Patriot spy and was manipulating his life the entire time they were together. <sighs> Women, right? But she was all like, my bad, I love you. And he was like, it's gay, let me put my dick in you. And then they had a kid. Well, first she actually said she had a miscarriage and married another man to trick Raiden, but it was really to trick the Patriots. Wait, please, the story is confusing enough without bringing that into this. Eventually, they mm. got back together and had a kid. Can we please go back to talking about killing people now? Sure. One yes, day please. he was captured by the Patriots and used as a test subject for exoskeletal enhancement surgery transforming him into a superhuman cyborg ninja. That's what I'm talking about! As a cyborg, Raiden went from a force to be reckoned with to a nigh-unstoppable killing machine. He is fast enough to outrun bullet trains and even run on walls. And he can do shit like this. You too, immortal. No. 
I just don't fear death. <laughs> Drugs must be fun. That's not even the half of it. Raiden is strong enough to lift and throw a Metal Gear Ray. This While a Raiden was exact so awesome. is unknown when compared to a Metal Gear Rex, which weighs 557 tons, we can estimate its weight to be over 1,000 tons. And that wasn't even his final form! Right, Raiden eventually got a newer, better cyborg body, which was even more powerful. Strong enough to flip this giant thing, rip off its building-sized sword, and then fight a duel with it. And finish it off at blinding speed! I mean, what in the actual hell? When he's not wielding building-sized blades, Raiden wields a high-frequency blade called the Murasama. Originally forged in the 16th century, the Murasama was re-outfitted with high-frequency technology. By creating a powerful current through the blade that vibrates at intense speeds, it weakens its target's molecular bonds forcibly slicing through almost anything. And if that's not deadly enough for you, Raiden can activate a super mode called Zendatsu. This causes Raiden's perception of time to slow anywhere from 50 to 90%, giving him plenty of time to chop through his foes as precisely or as rapidly as he'd like. He can take this a step further by deactivating his pain inhibitors. Allowing intense agony from wounds to envelop his senses causes him to lose himself in his old Jack the Ripper personality. This Ripper mode radically boosts his already insane speed and strength. It was very disturbing to watch this in the game. <laughs> Who's next? But it comes at a price, you know, aside from the whole pain and sanity thing. <laughs> These enhanced modes rely on a fuel supply, and using them burns through it at a rapid pace. Raiden can only carry enough fuel to sustain these modes for a very limited time, and relies on absorbing more fuel cell electrolytes from enemy cyborgs. Plus, his blood is not natural, and must be changed regularly, like the oil in a car. But still... I am lightning. Worth it. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle! It looks awesome! Get out of my way! Fat chance, bub. You're next! What? Who? What are you? Gotta admit, that hurt. Nice trick, Voltron. I'm actually more human than you. And that's saying something. Let's dance. Yeah. The animation is awesome. Seriously, props for them. No use hiding, bub. The nose knows.
you some kind of cyborg? Well, my bones are covered in the strongest metal around. Does that count? I'll just have to swing harder then. Jesus. Ouch. All right, Terminator. Now you've got me mad! Shit! Not again! The next Jesus. Robocop. Oh boy. This is why I fight! <laughs> it's time for Jack the Ripper to let her rip! That one is so bad. That must have worked. Oh my god! Because of Wolverine's adamantium skeleton and stubborn healing factor, he was able to hang in there despite Raiden's clearly superior speed and strength. He could have even kept it up until Raiden ran out of fuel, if it weren't for one important question. Could the high frequency blade cut adamantium? To answer this, we dug deep into Marvel Comics history and found Misty Knight a lesser-known Marvel heroine with a bionic arm made of Antarctic vibranium. This anti-metal emanates vibrations which weaken its target's molecular bonds, exactly like Raiden's high-frequency blade. Like the Murasama, this can destabilize and break any metal, including adamantium. And while in Jack the Ripper mode, Raiden can strike with enough force to cut through buildings and machines built to survive nuclear wars. With that much strength behind a sword like that, Plus, right in speed and technology advantage, Wolverine's supposedly indestructible skeleton met its match. Any way you slice it, Raiden just had the right gear for the job. <laughs> the winner is Raiden. <laughs> uh, puns. So, there you go, my brothers and sisters. Raiden won. I'm happy, actually, because, I, as I said, I love, I love Raiden to bits. Uh... Yeah, I really, really dig Raiden, I really enjoy, I still have Metal Gear Rising on my PlayStation 3, I love that game, even today I still play it, because it's fucking awesome, uh, so yeah, uh, I want to take a, uh, just a quick moment to say thank you my brothers and sisters for making uh, this channel reach 251 subscribers. Uh, and making this channel also have <laughs> uh, this channel has uh, now 305 views combined with all my videos and it really makes me happy that I that my channel has that many views I never I never, when I started this, I never thought people would like my content or, or even watch it to, even now I, I just got a comment on my uh, videos uh, that the my 251 uh, subscriber um, that made me really happy because the good comments, uh, the bad comments suck, but uh, I have to. I have found a way to. I really don't give a shit because I have exposed to. Ah, you're f fat. You know, it's the same thing. I. Comments on real life or internet. I have uh, found a way to deal. I just don't give a shit about the bad comments. And I also replied to one negative comment and he shut up because I responded to a way he couldn't fight back. So. Uh. 
but yeah, the good comments uh, really re it uh, it feels really good having a good comment to YouTuber having a good comment or a like it means a lot, and for me a starting YouTuber it means the world to me having um, this many views this amount of subscribers. Even before I start school, I never imagined I would have this many subscribers. And yeah, I'm really, really happy that happened. And I'm really, really glad I... I did this. I, I'm really glad I didn't... I went on it. I worked my, my ass out for making videos uh, with my brother or myself playing... Uh, making a plus place. And yeah, I'm really happy that I got to do my dream. And hopefully one day I can make this my job. That will be my dream. A dream come true. So, thank you, my brothers and sisters, again. My Twitter account will be in the description. So you can follow me on Twitter. So I can reply. More of you, you want to follow me on Twitter or anything. Just go there. If you're there, I'll reply reply to you just like in the comments. So, that being said, thank you again. I'm really, really grateful for everything. And once again, I'll see you around. And auf Wiedersehen, meine Freunde. And I forgot something. Like this video. Comments down below. Dislike if you want, and if you did, tell me why so, so I can improve on my videos or make anything change. So tell me. So, as again, see you around, and auf Wiedersehen, meine Freunde.